All right, welcome to the copyrighted music stream because that's what we have now in the background. Welcome to the courtesy flush. You're probably wondering why we all sound like we're in a tin can. Well, it's not because I have an omnidirectional microphone so I can pick up everyone in the room because guess what? We're over at Michael's house. Ooh. Here we are. Hey, everybody. Yeah, what's that? It's Classic. been a while. It's been quite a while. You miss me? <laughs> and then Nerys is joining us as well. Hello. He doesn't live that far from here. His address is so we're gonna do uh, a kind of racing game, um, which we had just literally learned how to play from Nick before we started. Yes, so he's going to master. He's um, going to explain how all of this works because we picked it up, but in, or you guys are gonna see it as we play. It'll make more sense. So let's go over to this, uh, the board game itself and see. I get this little. Yes. Welcome to. Uh, Vergens Grove in Columbus, Ohio. Yep. Uh, our racetrack for t today is a not boring uh, circle. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, we decided to go with a track that was actually shaped, uh, friend shaped. Um, I think that's actually like a pillbox. I think this is where the machine gunner nest is. So as we come around here, they're probably going to shoot it. I have no idea. I just noticed that. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? It's, it's defense I, against people that aren't us. Like it just looks like a it just looks like a shape that they just printed. Could here. be like a radio. Could it, it could be a radio tower. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. That's the announcers. That's yeah. a tower for the announcers. Yeah. Because so I can they see, can the see everything. Like, it yeah. just looks like a turret from the Death Star. <laughs> anyway, Nick, could you explain what we're doing here today? Uh, so we have our starting lineup down here. Uh, we are getting ready to play cards such as this. Yeah. Um, and move our cars. Uh, the goal is not necessarily to get first place because as you notice, we each have a team. Uh, the goal is to accumulate the most points through your different place finishes. Um, first place gets the most points, obviously, but you know, mm -hmm. depending on how you manage to finish, uh, you don't necessarily need to come in first place overall as long as your team finishes on average high enough, you know. You too can claim eternal glory. Yeah, you, it's not about being in front, but it's about winning with the most points for your team. It's a yeah. team sport. It's but a, I'm going to get in front because I like that better. I want to be in. Front. Like the view from from. I want the view. Front. I like the view from behind too. But um, mm -hmm. anyway, uh, can, we, can we introduce our team? Yes, yes, go ahead. All right, our starting our teams and our favorite favorite driver. All right, Mike, tell us your name, uh, your team, where they're from, and the drivers you have with us today. Hi, my team is the Quaker Stubbs Motorsports, owned by Isaac Stubbs. We're located in Quaker City, Ohio, uh, not too far of a drive, and we're not afraid to drive it. Yeah, um, my favorite driver. Oh, it's hard. Um, you know what? Let's go with, um, I think he's the oldest driver in the bunch. Uh, he's experienced. He's our leader, um, or a spiritual leader anyway. Jean-Luc Simard. Hmm. Jean-Luc Simard. Okay. Jean-Luc Simard. Totally not who you're thinking. And Nick, who did you bring to the race today? Who uh, are you? Where I, are you I from? I have Pockets Racing from Tampa, Florida. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with Nicholas Alexander as my favorite driver for completely arbitrary reasons. <laughs> um, and uh, I do notice your car. Uh, one of your drivers' name is Tiny Pockets. Is that uh, is it like is that the reason why they named this? Who's the owner name? of a uh, race? Jason Valdez? So I, think... I don't know how the name came about. I mean, possibly it did found. Uh, However, that word is supposed I to notice, go. Mike, are, 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 is your owner also driving in the race? No, no. Um, we have uh, we have the premier um, racers. I think these are our favorites in our. We have Preston Bigham and Jimmy Bigham, uh, brothers mm -hmm. that have been uh, racing since they were in diapers. Um, and then we have some other Johnny Zones. Um, yeah, he's um, he's the, the wacky one of our bunch. He's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the one who gets a turkey burger when we're when we're getting burgers. Okay, it's he's just, that guy. He's that guy. Yeah, turkey burgers are nice. If you make them right, but he wants them regardless. Um, and then you have me, who's a part of Mythos Motorsports. Actually, I don't know if the camera will get the other. Yeah, Look at that. Mythos Motorsports. That's right. We're going to uh, the Call of Cthulhu here. This is my home track from Columbus, Ohio. My team is from Columbus, Ohio. My owner is Joe Valdez, also a racer. 
he is actually in the race as number 19. So, Owner and racer. So you know who to target when you're actually trying to <laughs> knock me out of the race. I am number 19. Um, so uh, we have a bunch of different drivers. They all have very, very interesting names. And I think you guys can kind of see it. Eh, it might be too bright, but um, each one's got a driver and a different name. And then on one side is how many, how much damage temporarily my car has that we can take care of in the pit, and even permanent damage that you can't fix because you know explosions do tend to do. You can't really drive an you can't exploded un car. Unbend metal in the middle of a race. Unless you have bender in your pit, mm -hmm. then you can't really do that. So yeah. um, we're going to uh, begin a race here, and Nick is going to show us how it's done. We've already kind of did a test to kind of run through it, and me and Mike will have a pretty okay idea on what to do. But Nick's How many going times to be... have you played this game before? I played it zero. Nick, you zero, but Nick... Yeah. I played it twice. Played it twice. So an expert. You, yes, you're... you are an expert. No. So he knows. So we're going to play that. I hope you guys are enjoying this Twisted Metal soundtrack. Because that's what I'm using. I'm probably going to contradict myself and change it to something else. <laughs> I, I, I'm pre-editing this because um, we are actually, we were going to stream it, but it's more of just, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. this way because I'm not at home. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's much easier for us to just do this. So you're probably watching us and uh, at this slightly edited thing just for, because we were screwing around mm -hmm. quite a bit before we started. So... Hopefully it's in It's always nice to have something in the can, too. It's just, it's, it's just yeah. something fun and comfy to do, mm -hmm. so we decided to do that here. So, all right, Nick, uh, do you think we're ready to start, or do I you have anything already... you want to explain before we do? Um, I, my I mind think... goes so, blank, so... Let's, let's start with the movement cards. So we're going to be pulling these cards out, and I got a bit of a reflection because there's a light there. Um, but each one of these cards has what we call a movement right there, which is what you'd use to actually move your car in seven spaces or squares. And then you have underneath it a number to get you out of the pit and how many spaces you can move out of the pit. You notice it's lower because driving out of the pit is slow. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lead movement, so there's nothing special on this card, but I'm going to go ahead and take the top card off here and show that that's also a lead movement, making a move, which actually has a temporary damage token on the low, or top right corner here. Yeah, gasoline. Yeah, the, gasoline. Your, your two most common, if you notice the wear marker piles that we have scattered yep. around the board. And they go uh, on top of our cars. Gasoline and tires, you know, is mostly what we're going to be taking, which, you know. So we, yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? So we take, we take some temporary damage, and then we put that there. But we also have permanent damage markers, which you can't fix ever because, yeah, as we said before. But the other thing is, aside from the six and the two here, um, we use these cards to kind of figure out how much we have, and uh, we have speed penalties, so if we get three tokens, we lose a lot of speed, and then we have to go into the pit to get it fixed. But if we have six tokens, the car is exploded, and it is out of the race entirely, which is a big deal because we need as many cars as we can to rack up as many points as we can, because as we said, the point of the game is not to be in first place. At least that's what the game says, but I refuse to believe that. It's about how many points you can accumulate. So yeah, you don't have to be the first person across the finish line, you just have to be the one who has the most points. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if this is like NASCAR in any way, I don't know because I never watch NASCAR. So if you're just like, yeah, it's like NASCAR, I have no idea. So if you're watching this right now and you're wondering what we're doing, we have as much as an idea as you do. So here, here we go. I know that drafting is real. That's yes. a real thing that really happens just don't do it behind a truck when it's snowing out. That's a bad idea. My mother always told me that that's what you should do, if it's if it's really snowy because the if truck you can't see the truck driver's mirrors, he can't see you. Well, you'd be going slow. That's the explanation. So you're going slow, and then the truck like play, paves the way for you. Yep. And so you don't have to worry. You gain yeah. better gas mileage, but if they can't see your mirrors. No and they need those to see you, and they throw their brakes on, that could be you paying for a new trailer, so keep that in mind. Anyway, that's weird tangent. Or a new weird top tangent. half of your body. Weird, yeah, new top, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't stretch your neck too much, your head will pop off. Anyway, um, Nick? Uh, yes, I... Now, does it really matter if you, if we, any, we could see our cards? Does it, like, really Probably matter? Not. It's like a strategy thing? 
I mean, I'm sure that at a certain level of play, it could matter. But so we're yeah, not, not going yet. to so, care enough yeah. to yeah. be super about it. But. So before we started, we picked our drivers. Um, the only driver, we picked five for this race instead of six. We have six drivers total, but we picked five. And why did That's, we pick five? Uh, because that was the suggested play size for this uh, okay. number of players that we have. Okay, so playing with five cars, and um, each driver's got its own name. They have nothing special about them other than their numbers. And as we activate cars, we'll be flipping them over. Yes. You'll see it as we play. Okay. So, Nick, if you want to go ahead and start us off, since you are the first player, I don't know how that was decided, but I'm going to go ahead and just say that you are. because you. Uh, if you notice... Yeah. The way you resolve ties in this game, if you notice at the bottom of the cards, they have like a like a list of icon list of icons uh, that correspond to the different teams in the game. And on the particular card we flipped over for setting up our starting order, mine was first. So yeah. Uh, anyways, my first is. And we're just putting our discard. Pile rubbing here. is racing. Yeah. Rubbin uh, is racing. Any lateral movement is free, even if entering that space requires you to displace another car. So that's rude. You're just going to move us out of the way? Um, How dare you? 88. And then it's four, so one, Aiden two, is three. not going to like that. Aiden was just pushed oh, out go. of the way as he continues down Outside. the thing. And he, he has four movements, so he moved up four squares. Yes. And even though I activated card number seven, I moved the front car first because, you know, it's a draft movement and this whole line is joining the conga. So, and what happens when you make a move, if somebody's directly behind you, it's what they're called linked? Yeah, so for a draft movement like this, where you can see the arrows... Maybe uh, it's oops. Him. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's pretty far away. But yeah, you got yeah. You have arrows in front of and behind. That means cars in front of and behind you get gone along with. Mm -hmm. um, I believe movement is supposed to be clockwise. It doesn't. Clockwise would be to me? Yes, clockwise huh? would be to you. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I will activate. Well, let's see here. Yeah, we're all linked together. So there's the start of the race. Number 22 is now in the lead with four right behind 66. Oh, and he is now going to activate. Rubbing his, his race. Rubbing his race. It looks like we've got some competition going hard today. As we're going to go on the inside. He's going on the inside. Yeah. Lateral inside. movement. Because in. lateral movement is free. And it wouldn't even matter. I can go right in there. So one, two, three, four. And then we catch up with everybody else. And then everyone else that was behind him because... On the back of his card, or on the card, it, you'll notice there's two yellow arrows behind the card. That means anyone who's behind it is linked, which means that they follow his his movement. So you can do some pretty tricky maneuvers, and there's only two laps. But if the rules are anything to go by, it's going to be a pretty long race down here in Virgins Grove, Columbus, Ohio. The weather has not been good, but we got this whole We're racing trek. anyway. We're racing anyway. We got the plows out here. There's some uh, potholes on the road. That's that's normal. That's part of the yeah. future. The the p the yeah exactly. This this would be an Ohio racetrack if there are potholes on exactly. Okay, so um, let me pull out a card here. So now it's my turn as Mythos Motorsports decides to make its move. Um, Uh, let's do, you know what, I got a lot of cards with a lot of damage on my car, and I can't really do anything about it, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Temporary is uh, better than permanent. <laughs> exactly. So... Okay, so I'm going to do number this one here, inside line. So in this one, essentially it says that, well, I'll just read it. The active car may only move toward the apron or straight ahead. No outside movement is allowed. If a curd is entered or exited, the car must take the innermost of the possible choices. 
So, I wanna go number seven, and I'm going to activate car number 66, way up there in the lead. Okay. And it's gonna move seven. So, just forward seven? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and keep in mind, if even though I'm behind him, I still move his pieces up and the ones behind me. So this race you is... You want to bring along this line? Yes. Okay. I'm bringing them all. Everybody, we're moving this race up. Let's go. We're, we're, we're trucking along here. Number 22 looks like it's had a breakdown there. Uh, uh, 66. 66. And I took some tire... Per, uh, temporary damage for number 66. So we're going to put that right there. I'm going to set that sideways so I can keep it from falling. All right, back to Nick, who is now currently trying to decide his next move. As you know, races are quite the real-time strategy, um, except in a real one, I'm fairly certain there's somebody yelling on a microphone. I think that's our job. Like, we're yelling at these drivers. We're the shopcasters. Yeah. So we're in our little Death Star pillbox mm -hmm. over here. And then we have our fans here. They're all enjoying. Sponsored by, insert your local beer here, uh, Great Lakes. Sponsored by Great, Great Lakes. Great Lakes Brewing Company. Yeah, in yeah. Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Columbus's best friend. I'm kidding. Columbus and Cleveland don't like each other. Anyway, I don't know why. Is it, what, why? why? Why would they not like each other? Um, it's kind of like like a little brother, big brother kind yeah, of thing. That's true. Yeah. Because like, I think Cleveland was originally the capital of Ohio, and then it switched to Columbus or something to that. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Cleveland oh. has, Cleveland's better. Just, it is. So, you can see another draft movement. So he's moving another basically. draft movement, writing the draft. Uh, we're going to go with number three. So the active car may make no lateral movement. He can move four spaces, and he doesn't take any damage for it. So he's activating his front car. So he's already bringing the conga line behind him. And we have some people who haven't even left the beginning of the race. Number 22 is just all by itself out there. Well, Nick's turn is over. We're back over to Michael over there at Quaker Stubbs Motorsports. Quaker Stubbs is such a great name. All right, I think I'm going to go with um, writing the draft. Okay, so he's writing the draft. So it's the same exact thing. The right. active car may make no lateral movement. And on the bottom of these cards is what they call the, the bar. And so if we need a tiebreaker, um, we just go by whichever is the first one in line of that. And it changes per card, so... Makes it easier. Now, if you don't understand, don't worry. We're gonna, you'll get it as we play. If not, just enjoy it. I've moved forward yeah. three spaces. Yes. I cannot make lateral movement. Okay. There is a car that was separate from me that we have now. But linked it's up draft. To. Yeah. So it's draft movement. You've linked up mm -hmm. with. So you had four. You moved three, correct? Mm -hmm. So you basically were gonna uh, move one, one more, more forward. Oh, okay. All right. So now he has pushed twenty-two up. It looks like the race has finally started. But I still have 88 and 19 back there, just parked, parked and ready for the race. There are cards, because I'm looking at some in my hand right now, that allow you to catch up, I believe. Um, but you're going to have to find them in your hand. Hmm. Okay. So I... Or you can also help for a uh, yellow flag, mm -hmm. uh, at which point we have a restart of the race oh. and basically from where the leadership is everybody catches up. up so i'm going to play staying with the pact actually no i'm going to not going to play that one yet uh actually yeah because that one is so we're going to do move a sec okay okay i don't want to do teamwork it's not much but it's something. So basically, after moving the activated car, move a second car of yours three movement points. It gets an entire three regardless of condition, <laughs> unless you're exploded. That is kind of a, that's an end game thing. The second car can only be, the second car can be one that already moved, but cannot be used to take a car out of the pit. So that's just an extra rule. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this one here. So I'm going to do two lateral movements. Yep. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to move a second car of mine. Three spaces, so well, one. That one would have get 
gotten caught up when you started moving it forward because no. it's a draft movement. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, you linked up and dra- okay. So this one also now, gets another three movement three pieces. Movement. Or any of the other ones, but yes, that would probably be the one to move. Yes, so then I can move one, mm-hmm. two, three, and then everyone gets kind of pushed up one. Yes. Yeah. But that one didn't activate. Oh, it didn't That's the whole point of that card. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, so I've activated that. It lets me know that. Uh, that's why we flip them over. All but I, right. now I've got everybody kind of linked up here. So now if any of these move. I'm starting to see some of the emergent gameplay. It's like linking things up, but then maybe trying to change position. And then how do you afford to like laterally move, get ahead, and bump people out? All right, all right. Yeah, so cool. yeah, getting your pieces in line in the race is all of, uh, is key here in the very beginning. So that way you can then start playing around as we get to the part of the track that's a little tricky. It's a turn and it's only one lane because in a race, you typically don't have a car unless you're playing a racing game and you're a douche. Mm-hmm. And you just, you typically follow them because usually these are very tight turns, mm-hmm. but for the game's sake, they made the track a little wider. And, uh, you know, you have to imagine that they're going very fast. Well, I will point out, this one with the dashed lines is, in fact, only one lane. Uh-huh, that's what I said. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, so it's just it's one lane just here. one lane yeah. there. Oof, okay. Because, legally speaking, in a real legal race, in a turn like this, if you try to put two cars here, the, the person doing the outside will probably get... Yeah. Uh, flagged, or they will probably hit the other car and then die. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, let's not do that. No. Gotta be careful. Okay. Unless you're playing a game, then, yeah, go for it. Mm-hmm. Run them over. That's what I do. I, it look, it turn, turns not, out that's what's the fun thing. To, like, they, they looked at people, they looked at what they liked doing, and they liked to go fast, not worry about real body physics, crash into things, and get back in the race. Yeah, Wreckfest is a mm-hmm. great example of that. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Okay, so, what are you so playing? Next, next I, I'm going to go with watching the gauge. All right. uh, it's another basic draft movement. I will take one fuel wear, or one fuel token. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be activating card number 22. Uh, and that's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And the whole conga line just kind of follows along. And the race is finally getting out of the way as they come around the first bend. And in this bend, as you can see, the fans can no longer see them. And now they must look at absolutely nothing except for the people in the corner there. Um, and uh, you, they just have to imagine, I mean, you have the bleachers over here, so these, these fans are going to see some great racing as soon as they get a chance to. So, Michael, what are we going to do with right. your... Um, Johnny Zones, um, no, no, not Johnny Zones, he's not in the good thing, but Jimmy Bigum. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Bigum, he's looking at his brother, Preston, his big brother, Preston Bigum, and he's like, big brother, today's the day, today's the day I overtake you, and he's going to charge... Oh, number 12. So number 12. And that doesn't even have to link. You don't link anything. I link that. nothing. It's a solo movement. And so so no links. Do. So you, as long as there is uh, nothing Empty in space the space. to the side or forward, you get one movement point per. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and I also, seven. I need to uh, watch the gauge. I forgot to take my damage point on that. That was uh, the last one, I could 88. Yeah. And yeah. so Preston Bigum pulls ahead, and he's going to be maybe tire? first into the turn, and I take my tire, my temporary tire damage, because, okay. man, he did not take it easy on those wheels. No, no, no. Speeding, spe- yeah, he just wants to take the lead on this. He wants to break it apart from the pack. There's probably a strategy here, but I'm not seeing it yet. So with that said... Um, I am going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, set that, that. Mm. I see, I see. So, who has damage? Number 66. So, if I move number 66 into the pit right now. Uh, that would be an end of turn thing. So, after everybody's act- oh. activated. Okay, okay. And probably, honestly, a bit early to pit because, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, I was going to be reckless. But anyway. <laughs> well, for, for the viewers at home, um, we're gaining, or some of the cars are starting to gain these temporary, or potentially permanent markers as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
at the time that you activate the card, uh, at the time you activate the car, if you have three or more uh, wear tokens, uh, it minuses that amount from the movement. Yeah, you, um, if anything under three doesn't count for anything, because right now we only have one on 66 for me and one on 88. Um, but it was zero at the time that you activated them, Yeah, basically. So the effect doesn't actually take place until you do it again on another top turn. Basically, you have to have three markers on the car at the start of the, the next turn, turn. Yeah. the cycle. So it's you, you don't just automatically, your transmission doesn't just explode as you're activating this turn, because then what would be the point in playing the card, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the pace this time, Michael. That's right, number 66. I decided to go to take number 18 with me as we uh, go. Oh, it is. Okay. Yep. So one, oh, wait, um, two. Did you activate 66 already? No, you did. did. Oh, I can't use it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then. Who haven't I activated? You got 71 and 70 and, and 19. 19. All right. Nick, you're gonna set the pace, so one, well, but two. Well, you're moving into an occupied spot, remember? Yeah. So that counts three per. Oh, This that's is right. difficulty. Um, I, I think you're probably gonna be pushing somebody regardless with that card and where you're yeah, fine. activated. Is. That's fine. Or you could, um, you might be able to pull ahead of one of your back cars by moving laterally yeah. into an Yeah, you know what, space. I'm gonna move these guys up. Well, uh, I can move this guy. Yeah. <laughs> So activated this guy. He's he doesn't have anyone behind him. So he's like, you know what? I'm done being last. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can't move any more forward because someone's in the way for eight. Because I need if I was going to move him forward, you'd need three. Yeah. And if you guys are wondering how we know this, we actually underneath. You guys can't see, but over here, down here on this, where the camera is covering us up, there's literally a legend telling us some of this stuff. So we're not like. You're wondering how do they know? Yeah, it's, we're just making it up. Yeah, we yeah apparently. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get my remote because I I actually think that would be kind of cool if I could just zoom in Ooh. at random. Uh, yeah, let's see if I could do that. Yeah, here we go. Now, if only I could have it move, but yeah. I mean, it's it's a good frame, but it also allows us to see. Oh, that goes really far. Look at that. You guys can see everything. Well, actually, you know what? That would be good for showing off the cards because down here you don't get the glare. Yeah, perfect. So clean air is the next movement. What are you doing with that one, Michael? Oh, I was just using it as an example. I yeah. don't think I'm... I think, uh, well, it's Nick's turn, it's yeah. turn, yeah. And then in that move, I actually take a pink token, the permanent damage, to number... Uh, what was it? Number nineteen. Number nineteen. So that would be Joe, the owner of the of the thing, has now permanently damaged his transmission. Looks, transmission. So yeah, not bad, not great, <laughs> but understand, I need more. I need three of any of these tokens in order for me to lose any speed. So it's cr it's making a cr crunching noise, <laughs> but he's still keeping the lead somehow. That's cursed. All right. And uh, the turn ends when we run out of cards, right? Uh, out of cards. When we have activated everybody okay. once. All right, cool. Uh, so you should have one card left over. Ah. Because we drew six, we have five cards. Ah, okay, okay. Um, you know what? Let's understeer a little bit. Oh, I zoomed uh, out too far. There we go. Uh, so if you want to zoom in on that. All right, so this one. Uh, so understeer. I'm going to get a temporary suspension token on car number one. Uh, that's the one I'm activating. Yeah, and if you look at the corner there, you can see it has a temporary suspension. So the difference is that they're color-coded, which I, I will say from experience, color-coding game stuff works pretty good if you're not colorblind. So I don't know how you can really differentiate. Maybe just make the tokens circle and squares instead of all squares. It's just a suggestion I would make because their colorblind is kind of a thing that a lot of people kind of overlook, but it's okay. Just just something to think of for whoever might actually have made this game. Who made this game? What's it? Uh, so this is called Thunder Alley, and it was made by uh, GMT Games. GMT Games. Thunder Alley. Actually, I'm just gonna bust out. 
I'm wondering if the contrast is high enough on like between the red and the purple. Oh, it seems... and the yellow and the blue. A Jeff and Carla hoarder game. Yeah, and it came in this giganto box. Oh, it looks like the camera's kind of glitching out a little bit. All right. Okay. Anyways, I was moving car number one. Mm. Um, and it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And since it is a pursuit movement, the cars ahead of me are linked, but the cars behind are not. Mm. Suckers. Oh, so he already pushed ahead. Thinking. All right, all right. So I'm going to... You guys can help me out with this one. All right, so clean air. Mm -hmm. On We're going to go with... Um, oh, it's rough, but we'll go with number 15. Number 15, okay. It's a solo movement. Um, so he doesn't link anybody. So solo I'm, movements have no links. One, two, three... Um, or, All right. If active car is alone in a sector after using the four movement and does not the overall lead car, it may move forward any number of sectors as long as it does not enter a sector on any on-track car. It may be placed in any lane. Now, so that would be as far as that one would go then. Okay. Um, and we're just a little too bunched up for it to really make use. This would be a card to use if you were way behind, mm -hmm. this is how you could easily catch up. Okay. Because you could just zoom, mm -hmm. you know, up until so you hit long. the next car. So it would be something like if I had, let's just pretend that one goes away, but if I was over here back on the start line and I activated and I used the clean air, I go one, two, three, four, and I notice that I'm not linked up with anything. And so I can just keep going until I link up? No. no. Until you would enter, until a, enter a sector. A sector. So sector oh, is sector one across. Is, I see. Um, and you can't enter the sector, so you'd be oh, behind, behind it. the sector. Yeah. So but. I can catch up with it. Okay, good. All right. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So back to me. Yes. Uh, let's see. Who haven't I activated? 17. Uh, 70. 70 and 70, no, 71, right? Oh, yeah, because they're upside down. There so, is a 17, but it's blue. All right, so the, the I've not act the white token so far, I've not activated. Yes. So 71, I am going to go ahead. Let's do, so 71. I'm going to go ahead and do staying with the pack. I'm going to activate number 71. So the way this works is that pursuit movement is very simple. I just basically take some uh, fuel damage, which you'll see at the top right there, and I just move six paces up, and then you have all that other stuff. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So I'll be activating for 71. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I've reached Nick. Whoa. So I'm going to activate that, and that's... Also, a temporary damage. Well, you could go one more, pushing me ahead. We'll be pushing... No, because... His, I reach six. It's six. He could... You, six. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, six. Sorry, I thought you... Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I of course, I, if he wanted to push me in front of him, mm -hmm. he could probably have gotten could've. to about you. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, looks like uh, Dasher Karsten is uh, in car number 71 right behind we're talking about how those pants like yeah. locked him into the career of racing yeah. oh yeah just his name dasher karsten karsten like that's his last name karsten it's a family of of drivers who's number 12 michael uh, number 12 is... That's the one that's in front of my car, is number 12. That's Jimmy Bigham. You guys can't really see it all too well, but they're, they are here. And trust me, it's just really dark, but you can see them. Is it, is it dark? No, it is, it's just hard to yeah. see. Yeah, it's just... Number 12 is Jimmy Bigham. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think all right. I have one more card to activate. So We're he's going to do a charge. Da, 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 da. So charge is a solo movement, and he takes one tire damage... And who's that? Temporarily. So, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. Looks like we got so, well, all three of our best racers in the front. Who's 18? That is Nicholas. So, yeah, Nicholas Alexander. Totally not any reason for picking that. I like Dasher, and I don't know, Mike, do you like your character? I love, my char I love all my characters. Yeah. These are all awesome. Quaker people. Stubs. These are all people Bars, I want to have sports. multiple beers with. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, Michael, I, what are you going to do? I have number 17. 17 is Johnny Zones. Best for last, he's going to use Dirty Air. So he's going to take some fuel damage, some temporary fuel damage. And now I have to be kind of clever about what I'm going to do. So I could move up to pushing uh, the cars in front of me, or I think mm -hmm. I'm going to do something a little silly. Um, one, two, three, four, and there I go. Nick, what's wrong? What's wrong with this movement? I mean, there's nothing wrong with the movement. It okay. is entirely legal what he just did. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because he likes to throw you off your game, I think. All right, so um, I, I got my last card to activate, which would be number 70. And. Uh, You know what? Let's just go ahead and, uh, since I can't move that any further. Who did Johnny Zeros, Johnny, Johnny Zones, who did Johnny Zone knock out of their zone, that number three? Uh, that would have been David Lands. David Lands. Oh. All right, watching the gauge here, we're going to go ahead and activate number 70, and he's going to go ahead and move up all the way until he reaches number one, but I can't move those other cards in front of me because I don't have enough points. No, because it's a draft. Oh, so right. at the point oh. that you run into the next set of cards... Oh, right, you're right. Now, do you want to push number six here or nine? Yeah, I want to push them all. Well, number but nine. do you want outside well, you lane want or me? middle yeah. lane? Outside. Oh, outside lane. Sorry. Outside lane? Get on my okay. way. Yeah. Link up. Get, get, yeah. get out of here. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, put that down and then take a green fuel chip and put it on number 70. And you can't really escape this game without taking some damage. Oh, yeah. It is Actually, inevitable. You know, I just noticed the permanent damage tokens and the minor damage tokens are actually s separate they're different sizes. sizes. Yes. So they're just so very... the physical tokens you can tell. It's harder to tell on the cards because, like, I don't think the uh, icons on the cards are different yeah. sized. Uh, anyways, um, yeah. everybody has activated. If you notice, we have flipped all of our cards from light side up to dark side up, uh, which signals that it is the end of the turn. So there's a couple of things that happen now. Uh, we must determine the leaders. Uh, actually, uh, oh, yes, actually, award turn leader marker is, in fact, the first thing. So the turn um, leader would be whoever's in the front, which would be number 12. Yes. Located, uh, where, where, tell us a little bit about number 12. Where are they from? How did they get into racing? Jim Bigham, um, he's from Dayton. Okay. Um, that's where he got into racing initially. He started off as um, go-karts, like, okay. like most little boys do. Um, he's, uh, he's a young guy, he's, uh, about 19 years old, um, always in the shadow of his brother Preston. All right. Um, he, uh, he hopes that one day people will call him James, because that sounds like a proper name, but... One day. No. That's, a, that's quite the aspiration for a very, uh, new driver. Um, and I, I think every time you get a first place marker, I'm just gonna have you tell us about the driver, because I like that. <laughs> okay. Um... Now, you did get a turn leader marker on that particular car. Uh, keep track of what, you know, keep them with that car because at the end there is an additional point to be awarded for the car who led the most turns. Okay. Uh, up next, and Mike, if you want to start zooming in, we have an event. Oh, so we have an event which is... Uh, oh, a... no. Uh-oh. So this dun, event... Dun, dun. In particular... So, blown engine. The car with the most engine tokens blows an engine. If multiple cars can be affected, use team bar. The affected car is removed from the race. Okay. The cars with the most engine tokens blows. Okay, so the engine tokens are the orange permanent markers. And um, so we have none of those on any of our team, fortunately. So this is... So this means we draw bad. a card to determine... So, what we're going to do yeah. is I'm going to draw a... Uh, just a race card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at the team bar. 
and whoever is first on that team bar out of the three of us, all right, uh, one of your cars is getting out of the race, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so, uh, moment of truth. Look at one, the bottom of the card. Two, two and a half, three. Okay, bring it um, up. Yeah. Okay. Um, mythic or mythos? No, because mythic is it would down be, here. It would be Nick. It would oh, be Oh no, it's pockets. Oh no. Yes, green. Yeah. Oh no. Green, blue, and the, yep. Okay. So Nick being in the order down here, we don't have the other teams. Yeah, so we don't have the purple, don't have we don't have yellow, we don't have pink in the race. Green, we do have, that's me. Um, so I have to consider... He's going to blow an engine, and then you can take that event card. Well, and, and we're going to have to deal with something else here in a second. Um, All right, let's pull this back out. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, you know what? Um... Whose heart are you going to break, Nick? Who are you taking out of this Who's race? Where and who do I want? Y you know, what I think you did is I think when you bumped me out of position... Nah, yeah. <laughs> you blew. You, you did something <laughs> and, you know, all of a sudden the engine just gone. Uh, unfortunately, David has left the race. Uh, uh, hold he, on. Oh, does he go here? Uh, yeah, because okay. that's his okay. slot. So I don't know. I was gonna, I was gonna put him like, like over here, <laughs> like park, park yeah, uh, park him where you want to. But I, I was gonna park my car. I, 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 I see where you're going. I, I'm gonna keep it. You know what? Why him. not? Yeah, park him. So Why not? Yeah, so he can well, watch well, the rest of the race because he's knocked out. It's not fair. So he gets to watch his his teammates win. <laughs> okay. Um. But we also have a yellow flag, which completely messes us up because I said, okay, I'm not going to look that up because, you know, what's the chances? From, oh, no. So what, what it sounds like is this is good news for number 88 and this is bad news for Jimmy Bigum because everybody catches up. It's what it sounds yep. like. Everyone's okay. going to find, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Yellow, um, oh, no, that's a yellow flag. That's not a yellow flag. Restart. Ah, here we go. Um... Why did they do the yellow flag? Okay, never mind. Question for another day that is important here. Uh, to restart after a yellow flag, follow the procedure below. Line the cars up on the track. Place the leader uh, in the inside restart lane in the sector the race leader occupied. Um, so, it, so that would actually be where number 12 is occupied right here. Uh, it's hard to tell probably on camera, but this inner lane here is just a slightly le lighter color. Uh, that's to denote it's not the restart lane. Oh. Um, yeah, I, th I think, yeah, if I, if I had a way to... Um, using on-track positions, place all other cars in the same manner as was used during setup. Thus, the second car is in the second. Is put in the outside lane. Um, all cars are lined up at the end. Remove yeah. lap markers. Set just that a little bit so you can see better. And we're back after uh, after, after deliberating. We fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up. No, we did we? Um, a little. I mean, nothing that we can't recover. Yeah. Yeah. So in searching the rule book for something completely, well, not completely unrelated, mostly unrelated, uh, I discovered a, a significant sentence, which is if no cars meet the. Re requirements listed on the card for damage, like we didn't have any cars with engine damage, uh, then that card is supposed to be treated as a non-event. <laughs> oh, so well, uh, the, so the car is back in the race as a, uh, is a, uh, who, 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 who? So it was a figment of the uh, announcer's imagination yeah. that David Leeds had blown The announcer an had a little bit too much of that Great Lakes, our sponsor for this evening. <laughs> we, are not a, we are not affiliated with them, just in case you're one of their people is watching like, are they serious? No. <laughs> Sorry, Great Lakes, but no. Who is the premier brewery of Columbus? Great Lakes. It's not Great Lakes. Great Lakes is for Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland State University uh, <laughs> booze. That would be Ohio, oh, it's Columbus, Ohio State, Ohio State's Brewing College. Yeah, uh, Ohio State Brewing. <laughs> yeah, they should have their own brewery. All right, so we have drawn and resolved an event card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up would be, in theory, perform pit stops. Given that 
anybody ha that has wear just has one wear token. Yeah. There's no real point to pitting yet, or if they do, I'm going to argue and say that no, you don't want to do that. Uh, so we're going to move on and assign first player. Now, I had started this game in first, but I am now not. Michael is. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to flip this over so it's dark side up, matches all the cars currently, and hand it off to Michael. Where it should be. Yes, in first place. Um, so we enjoy it while you can. Player. Uh, we have no cars that are have been lapped to remove. So we're just still in the race. Yep, so still in the race. Should we draw five point? cards? Well, no. If you wish to discard any cards from your hand that you do not wish to have, you may discard them. Um, I think I might actually keep this one. Go for it. So at this point, we're going to drop to our hand size of six. And I draw five because I'm keeping mine. Yep, I did as well. You need six, Michael. Four, you got it. Four, five. All right, you're good. One, Excellent. two, three, four, five. I didn't grab six. I, six. Need, or five. I grabbed four. All right. There we go. Now I have six cards. So mm -hmm. I got all kinds of stuff. I mean, the, oh, come on, really? Well, you can't take the same temporary damage, can you? Yes, you no, can. No, you can. Oh, it's just twice. Okay. Yes, you just keep accumulating gotcha. them. Oh, okay. Well, then, yes, you can keep building up your temporary then. Excellent. So, Michael is the first place. That means he goes first, right? Yep. All yes, right. Does. Michael, pick your attack. How are you going at this race? All right. So, I am going to go with, um, well, let me see here, pursuit movement. I think. Mm hmm. Well, let me just, uh, yeah, go ahead and do your thing. I gotta tell this person to wait a sec. I'm gonna go with an oversteer, and I'm gonna do that on number 12. I'm gonna do that on number 12 because it's a pursuit movement, but there's nobody to pursue, and so he will just pull ahead one, two, three, four, five spaces, and he will take some transmission damage. <laughs> That is the temporary transmission damage on Jimmy Bigum number 12. And I was going to ask if you wanted the inside lane or the outside lane, but according right. to the card, you move towards the inside lane anyways, so it doesn't oh, really matter. Thank you for reading that, because I didn't. Hmm. All right. All right, so what did that... So he, you took some permanent damage, right? No, no that's temporary. a temporary. Temporary. Temporary suspension. Okay. Looks like you are on your own. You have not linked up with anybody. You have pursued and put... Yeah, you just oversteered, which on a turn is not exactly... I mean, you can drift, can't you, with oversteering? Jimmy would drift. Oh, so Jimmy just basically did one of these, like... Gas, right. gas, yeah. gas. Yeah, we'll just pretend like he drifted over there. All right. Yeah. Yeah, if you have to drift, you have to drift. You have to drift your car. They have, like, the little, like, garden hose sprinkling water to get the traction just right. I, I have often, uh, I've often wondered this. I've been watching a lot of movies in cinematography, and I've always wondered why in all movies, where there are cars driving, why is the ground always wet? Have you ever noticed that? Watch any car movie, any of them, and look at the ground. It's always wet. Every single time. And that was a piece of sheet music because there's a piano right there that fell. Uh, but anyway, th for some reason there is wet ground. And I'm thinking it has something to do with lighting and, and, and I guess to keep the shot from being dark and flat to add contrast. That's the only thing I can think of. But I don't really know why the ground has to be wet. But literally, watch any race movie where it's dark. And maybe even when it's light outside. But mostly dark racing shops like Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. All the ground is wet. Just something I've noticed. Could be a traction thing as well. I don't know. Anyways. That's true. If they are drifting, turn. you probably want your ground to be slightly damp. I don't know how drifting really works. I'd like to learn, though. Um, you know what? You know what, Michael? I think it's time you get a little bit of the uh, old dasher charm here. Because guess what? Out in front, baby. All right. Uh, wait, where is that? Okay. Out in front. So what does this card mean? Well, essentially, 
I take one wheel damage, and then I just continue to uh, take seven spaces. And anyone behind me, which that would be... Actually, you're not behind me, so you can't follow me, right? Even though Correct. you're lateral? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you actually, you can see I have another car over here. You have two more cars here. That's one of mine. There's one of mine. Or actually, that's Michael. So, one, one here, here, and here. We should probably, next time, if we do this again, probably pick something with cars with less, more contrast. <laughs> because you cannot tell the difference between mine or Michael's on camera, really. His is blue. It's supposed to be blue, but it's dark blue. Mm -hmm. And mine's supposed to be black. They're too, the camera's just having trouble with that. And then green for Nick. So he stands out more than we do. So I probably should have picked pink, which would have stood out a little better. I but I think eh. there's also a red and a yellow. Red, so There's yeah. other colors. Yeah, just, I guess, future <laughs> reference. Hey, we're doing this on the fly. Who cares? Anyway, because uh, I didn't really plan any of this out. So he's coming to come up here. That was number seven out in front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eat my dust. And flip over your car oh, thank to you. bright side. Bright side. Yeah, there we go. So we have shown that you is, he has been activated. I have been activated. Um, where, where is that from? You've been activated. It's like oh, enemy. Division. Oh, yeah. The Division. Yeah. I forgot all about that game. A little fucking <laughs> oh, watch turns right. on. Yeah, You've been like, activated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking, all right, anyway. explain what that means. <laughs> I watched Ross Scott's video on that, and even <laughs> like hearing his confusion, I'm like, yeah, you know, I couldn't figure it out either. Anyway. <laughs> um, so anyways, I am activating car number one. Okay. Uh, with understeer. All right, so he does take a blue non-permanent damage to his suspension. So um, and then he moves five one, spaces, so he's going to... Two, three, three four, four five. five. So he's in the uh, turning. Four, he's, five. And the cars behind him are doing the conga line, which... Well, considering the cars in front of, but... Yeah, but you are moving your cars. You're using your pieces very well. Back to Michael... Over there in the uh, the dark blue colored cars that I can't see yeah, on camera. Zoom out just a little more. Oh, thank right. you. We're gonna Oops. go fifteen. Car fifteen. That's uh, Aya Farley. Hmm. Watch that gauge, Aya. Is it put it in the middle? Oh yeah. Yeah, because that way that way everyone can see it, and it's just like, oh wow. I just I, I think what I need on this is like. Because this is an optical zoom, I think I need a digital zoom that I can just flick on two, hmm. to switch between three, the two. Just for four, reference when we do five, board games. Six. The next board game, uh, like I, the, one of the board games I wanted to do the next time I uh, do these is the Jurassic Park one because I really like that. And we have a bunch of others, like Ticket to Ride and then, you know, what are the cash... QE, QE. Or Q, whatever the stock. Well, and I also have passion guns. Have and I? cash and guns are great. Passion yes, oh, wonderful. Uh, I got draft movement, so that was nice. Well done, Michael. I'm starting to pick up on like how you work the system. Like you, if you can push from behind, then you can. Yeah. Yeah. Push right. from behind, pull from the front, and yep. you know both ends in the middle. <laughs> okay, so with that out of the way and that car's already been activated so I can't race with that one in the, again so like I can't, I can't just keep pushing this one car through the race mm -hmm. you can only do it for one turn so what I'm going to do is I am going to do something weird and drastic with this one by going follow the leader and who am I activating you might be wondering well let me just tell you a little bit about Roberto Zegas because guess what he's going to go ahead and one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, bringing him right up here. But no, no, looks like his engine is smoking as he takes some permanent damage to his vehicle. That might come to bite him in the ass later, but he is now caught up with the rest of the team. I think technically you could be one more space ahead because as you come through here, you could go into the oh, lane. Yeah, you know what? Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's what I'll do then. Cool. Now we're back over to Jason Valdez's team, Pockets Racing. Uh, looking, Nick is currently trying to decide what his next move is as the drivers are all in limbo, frozen in place, unable to go anywhere until a decision is made. Right now, he is going through his cards that every so often Sling I can shot. glance over and see because he's right <laughs> next to me. Um, uh, so Slingshot. R18. So Slingshot 
takes one tire damage and he can have people fall. So once per turn, the active car may move ahead diagonally into the empty into one empty space at any time during the movement. All cars following the lead car also use this diagonal movement. So he can move diagonally. One, two, three, four, Ooh. five, six, Ooh. seven. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do that again, Nick, so you okay, can show it. Show, I gotta zoom out so you, everyone can see it. I'm sorry, okay. I was on the cart. Okay, now look at this shit. So, activating <laughs> car 18. One, One two, two, three, four. And right five, between the two of six, us, seven. diagonal movement. Fucking A. And it looks like uh, Nicholas Alexander is back in the lead where he thinks he belongs. Unfortunately for him, that will only be a short lived uh, dream as Michael is now deciding on what his next move is going to be. The uh, fans are going crazy, uh, mainly because these guys have done nothing to watch for like the past 40 minutes and are like, what is happening on the other side of the track? You know, I think um, Preston Biggums, uh, he sees his, uh, his little bro. He uh, just got overtook, and he's going to yep. maybe um, link up and see if he can't um, get everybody going in this conga line. So he is going to oversteer. So Next he is going to oversteer, which is a pursuit movement. So after the active car is completed its move, it must move one lane toward the apron. If that lane is not vacant or the apron, uh, or is the apron, ignore this movement. This lateral move is free and does not count against the movement points awarded by the card. So he can just do oversteer and do a hell of a lot of movement there, especially in a turn where there's a drift. Four, pretty much just moves everybody ahead. That's oh. what I see. Yeah, he's just giving everyone a little bit of... He's helping the race. He wants to see this thing go. The only car that's left in the dust is, unfortunately, poor old Aiden Thyler in 88, way over here. This is He's been having car troubles. He's just taking his... He's got a cup of tea. That's, um... Uh, that, that would be Maze if this was Top Gear. <laughs> just back there, and he's like, it's a wonderful ride. You don't have to race. I don't know why it's so worried about speed. So me, I'm going to say that's Maze driving 88 back there. And of course, you got Hammond somewhere in the middle, and then the Jag up here in the front, because that's how that show ends up working out, as far as I've been able to tell. Anyway... Moving on, that would be my turn. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually make a turn. Let's see here. Uh, the active car, so I'm gonna do an outside line. The active car may only move towards the outside wall or straight ahead. No inside movement is allowed. If a curve is entered or exited, the car must take the outermost possible choices. And I also take tire damage for that as well. Who are you activating? Um, that would be... What are my options? I think got this guy. You know what? Let's just go ahead and grab 88. Let's just get him up here. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's get him up here. Maze is taking his time as he currently makes his way up the track, talking about drinking tea and driving Bentleys and Hondas and all the other stuff that he... He's a, he's a brilliant engineer. Let's just give him a break. Anyway, back to the race. We're going to, yeah, if you guys didn't see that, um, Maze moved all the way over here. So he's all, way, way over here. <laughs> Hammond is somewhere in here, probably screaming, as he usually does. I only just started recently watching uh, Grand Tour, which is There's a bug in here. There's a bug in here. Yes. What is that? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, on uh, Amazon. It's like the sequel to Top Gear because I never really watched. I've watched clips of Top Gear in a few episodes, and I never really got into it. There's like a new Look, Top Gear too that nobody likes. I don't know. I I'm not into that world. I just yeah. really liked. Uh, I just really like uh, the yeah. Grand Tour because I'm a big fan of the way they filmed mm -hmm. everything. It's a fantastic show. Anyway, we'll stop talking about that. Nick, what is your next move as you uh, currently? consider your options here. Now you have okay. 22, which hasn't been activated, 7, and 3. So which ones are you going to activate? Um, we are going to activate uh, car number 7. 7 has just been activated. 
and it's pushing the inside. So one, two, three, four, and conga line. There we go. Comes on along. All right. It basically, the active car may make no lateral movement. It's a draft movement. So he's just moving the conga line up, which means that this race is about to enter its second lap very shortly. What is, I have to ask, what is GWC? There's a green line. You guys can't really see it on camera, but it says GWC. Is that the... Uh, if there, so we had the threat of a yellow flag restart, mm -hmm. um, and usually you do that for the lead car. Mm. However, if it is the final lap, mm -hmm. and the lead car is between this line and the finish line, you move everything back to the GWC. To give everyone a chance to, okay, I see what you're doing. All right, so you've just played your car. That would mean, Michael, your turn is up, and your options currently are limited. Um, you have number 17, which has not moved yet, um, just been following the cargo line, and number 9, which is actually right up there in the lead. Uh, oh, sec third place. Number 17 is going to chase the race. So it's a draft movement. They can't make lateral movement. It just pushes that conga line along. So chasing the race, it's just a simple movement um, that is a is that a minor damage? That is minor, minor Tempor damage. Yep. temporary damage. Temp damage on Johnny's So he gets five ones. moves. He gets to go forward. Here we go. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Eight. Excellent. Moving the cars in front of him, as there is not really a whole lot of options for him. Don't forget to activate his card. Oh, who, which one was that? Nine. It was 17. 17. 17. Oh, 17. Okay. Sorry, I almost overtook your turn there. Okay. All right, let's do, God, I hate these. Um, you know what, now we're just gonna go ahead, let's see, uh, a draft movement. Watch the gaze, we're, you know, we're just pushing this race along, why not? It's a simple card, the draft movement. All it does is it just moves the cars either in front or in back six spaces and I take a fuel damage and I add it to the next card that I will activate. So let's zoom out here and see if we can figure out who we're gonna take. My options currently are number 22, or sorry, no, that's yours. Uh, number 66, number 19. And that should be it. That should be it, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do number 19. Oh yes, number 19. We're gonna do number 19. So that means a lot of people are gonna be moving up. So uh, six spaces? Yeah, so just do that. And you aren't Two. limited in that you can't do lateral movement. Oh, in drafting? You. Well, he could move out to start, mm -hmm. but then it's just moving him. Yeah. That, now, that's what, um, if you're activating number 19 there, mm -hmm. that, I don't know, It's that's something that you could do. I don't know if it would be good or bad because you would just be passing up some people, but then you're out of the line. So yeah, no, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna okay. keep it there. We're keep just gonna move at six. So just move one, that guy. Two, no, just three, follow him. Four, five, and then inside, outside. We're gonna go inside. Okay. Yep. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So, so he should. Now we're just moving this conga line up. I wonder if that's how they call it in NASCAR. They call it the the conga line, or if they have yep. a more professional definition of the term. Yeah, the the, the play mat's not entirely flat so there's going to be a little bit of a gap that's okay mm -hmm. and number 19 so that was it and then uh 15 follows 19 because that's also part of the draft none of these guys do anything because they're not connected to anybody they're just hanging out over here eating whatever uh and i picked a uh, 19 correct yep so that guy gets a little bit of temporary fuel I'm damage green. yep <laughs> what I, I had a moment i was looking okay who do i have and i was looking because I'm going to be honest, usually I pick blue. Blue's my favorite color. It's just what I do. Yeah. Uh, and except that I offered Mike the chance to choose first, so he, Michael chose blue. Green was um, my favorite color, but my favorite name was Quaker Stubbs Motorsports. Quaker Stubbs Motorsports. I just want to remind you that Mythos Motorsports is the home team here. You are racing on our track here in Columbus, Ohio. You have a weird collection of like, like there, there's like carved figures. Like you have a, like some jewel We cases. definitely we buried a few like chicken claws under this track. Yeah, like we've done like, some magic. Don't okay. worry, you're fine. So why don't you zoom on this, Mike? Okay, what because we... it's a new card for us. Oh, brand new card. So this one's um, called Working the Pack. 
The active car may exchange places with any car that is directly behind. For one movement point, it may pass multiple cars in this manner on a turn. Uh, and I'm going to be activating number three here. So number three so, is getting activated, and where and, is he going to go? Uh, so it's going to be one, okay, two, three. How dare you? <laughs> and four. So he just moved his cars up by cheating, and so now we've got to defeat him. All right, that goes on down to Michael now, who is going to get his revenge, or not? I don't know what he's. What's your move here? All right, so John Luke Samard, he sees what's going on here. At least. We think he sees what's going on here. And he's going to make a move. He so making a move yet. essentially means it's a lead movement. It's very simple. I'm not going to zoom in on it. But basically it's anything behind him plus a uh, it's a six movement card. So go ahead and play that, Mike. That's activating number nine. And he is going to move. And you're moving everyone behind him, too. Yes. Um, so that's six movements. Well, now here's the thing. Um, no, you're stuck with that. Yeah, I'm stuck, or I, mm -hmm. if I make a lateral movement, it would just be me alone. No. No? Okay, yeah. they come with me. Yes. Yep, All see, right. on, on, the, on the thing here, it says lead. Lead. Forward, no, behind, behind yes, yes, means it's linked. Okay. So, so you have forward movement one point, and then occupied space is three. Three. So he will make a lat move, one, two, three, four, five, and six, bypassing two of pockets, Wow. And bringing everybody else with him. Well, uh, to be fair, now Nick has three cars up there. I've got one. Yeah, we've got some. Yeah, Nick's got half of his team. He's got over. He's got like three quarters of his team there. And I, so do you. Mm -mm. It follows how they move. Meanwhile, oh, okay. here I am stuck with. Oh, yes, I see. Stuck with these. This is the actual Top Gear crew here. <laughs> these are the guy. These are it. Because there's no way that I could be stuck out here unless they were driving my cars. <laughs> I'm only giving them shit. Do, 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 do. I know. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, since somebody has decided wait, to be annoying... Oh, you go don't, first. Don't skip me. Okay. Sorry. All right, so this next one is going... Oh, I took fuel damage on that. Yep. Don't want to cheat. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and move this race up with an inside line. The active car may only move toward the apron or straight ahead, so no lateral movement, and I'm fine with that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, activate number 66, my final activation here, as it just goes ahead and... Uh, uh, where's 66? What's its uh, deal? 66 does... Uh, that takes one extra tire damage for that move. We need to start counting these because we're terrible. Um, so one, two, three, four, and that was seven, five, six, seven. All right, looks like I crossed the finish line with that one. Uh, and uh, that's the end of 66's lap. Uh, no, you can't do that. Oh, because of the lateral? No, no, I started no. here. Uh, if the curve is entered or exited, oh, the curve must take innermost. So everyone in front of me crosses it, so I lose... Everything so one, two, that I, pr I hope one, for. Two, three, four, Have five, fun with that. Six, seven. I did that on purpose because I'm your friend. <laughs> you're you're very so. When we cross the finish line, do we get a token for doing so? No. Well, this is only the start of the second lap now. Okay, but I still have cars that are on lap one. That's not a big deal. Okay. Until and actually, I wonder if current leader is supposed to go on. Um, car instead of the... That would make sense. We'll put it on the car. Okay. That, um, yeah, that makes it a lot easier to try. Um, Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, anyways, um, it's only if this car passes that car that you start running into problems. Okay. Um, at that point, you are considered lapped, and if you are not unlapped by the end of that turn... It's an end of the race. It's end of the race for that car. All right. Well, let's get the Top Gear boys out of there. Well, and I have one more car to play. And that's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. What are you doing? It is, is a that? fast pace. It's a pursuit movement. How, uh, how for dare car you? 22. Car 22. That's this one here. Uh, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you've moved your cars up. Have fun with that. Uh, and that is the end of our turn. So now we yes. pull out an event card. Yes, event. So what's the event? Oh, wait, we got an a award. Oh, true. Oh, wait, we got an award. Um, lab leaders. You get a turn leader to who is that? Number nine, that's uh, John Luke Smart. You get one turn leader. All right. Excellent. Um, okay, now back to the event. Mm -hmm. And the event oh, is no. the pile up. No. Oh, God. All right, Nick, just read that okay. whole thing for so, us. So, draw the next card and check the team bar. The first team's color shown must give their lead card two red damage tokens. Oh. Oof. Uh, the next team listed must give their next card behind the first affected car one red damage token. The third team must give their next car a gray damage token. Uh, continue as such until the, each player has assigned damage to one car or any team has been bypassed. Uh, all cars involved from the third on will receive gray damage. Okay, well, we only have three cars because we only have three teams. Yes. Um, okay. So we're all taking damage on this one. Uh, y y um, Just a certain theory, th possible. Eh. Depends. No, because. The lead car, depending on who it is. Yeah, depending on who. But I think. Because we are all have at least one car in this mess. So yeah, everybody's getting something. Okay, well, we got the pile up, so. Okay, so. Reveal who, who's, who's. Who's getting the damage first? The big boy damage. Let's see it. One, two, three. First one is blue. Yep. Um, Blue. Your first car is the lead car. <laughs> you get two red damage tokens. So red damage. Uh, so the, those are permanent damages. Those are permanent body damages. Um, uh, the next team listed must give their next car. So the next one is black. Mm -hmm. And your first car is sixty six. Sixty six. Okay. Sixty one red damage. 66 takes one red damage, which means that he is now negative uh, in his movement. But it is also the end of the turn, so I can always just pit. Yeah, right and there. we're going to have a yellow flag here, so we're going to deal with this again. Um, at this point, uh, my first card behind you would be seven. Seven is going to get one gray damage temporary. Yeah, he gets a little bit because he had a chance to break. Okay. That's fine. Okay. We got a yellow t a yellow so, flag. So he's going to look up what that's going to do for us. Okay, so uh, we never decided. And I think we were just going to go with inside his first, mm -hmm. first sector. Um, because I'm sure there's something in there that says it for real, but... Um, I don't see it. Okay, so Okay. Uh so um you're there. Mm -hmm. Next car goes outside. Um, because it starts in the inside lane. So just uh, go step by step of what you're doing. Okay, there. so yellow flag restart, just basically reading off. Line up the cars on the track, basically it's going to be like when we started the race. Um, place, uh, using on track positions, place all other cars in the same manner as used using your setup. Thus the second car is put in the outside lane, third car is placed behind the leader, etc. Um, so... Now, that actually goes here. Like, it's hard, to, again, it's hard to tell out on camera. Oh, this inside yeah. lane is just an ever so lighter color. Um, uh, no, I can see it on camera. Oh, it's, okay. It's, 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 yeah, the yellow outside comes outside. out fine. All right. Yeah, so, so that's, inside, that's the pit lane, in case you guys are wondering. You can't drive in the pit outside. lane unless you're playing a video game. Because I've, I've done that before. <laughs> done that a lot, actually. Inside. Those F1 or those. Outside. They go all over the place. 
inside. They do. So that also okay. means that all of the cars now get to join us in lab two. So the problems that I had were actually solved by the pileup, which is come in their favor. I mean, that makes sense. That's what would happen. Da, 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 You're rewarded da, da, for being. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like that. Um, it's like that uh, ice skater from like Australia. Do you yeah. Know? Like. They, there was there was an aggressive movement, and then all four of like the leading everybody was wiped out. I that I, I've heard that story, the picture like, and I forget if it was like from metal or something. It happened to him in qualifying as well. Oh, like it was like like he like that Olympics. Like there were like I forget if it was two or three times mm -hmm. that everybody in front of him wiped out, oh. and he skated to victory. It was, it was the speed skating competitions, and it oh. was just yeah. Okay, um, beautiful. We didn't watch. have any lapped cars to remove markers from. Uh, okay, so at this point, we can anybody who wants to yellow flag pit can. So there's a little bit of a special with yellow flag pitting. Um, to pit under yellow, move all cars that want to pit straight down into the apron. So no back at all. Mm -hmm. So do any of you, because now I know there's a couple of you yes, that have more. I do need to. Number 66 definitely has to get pitted because they are definitely in a bad place in terms of damage. And I think that would uh, eliminate at least these two. Now, it, for now, when you have three, that's the point where you have it, minus one. Minus three yes. to speed. Minus three to speed. Yes. At the point, like, it only starts at three, but at the point that you have three at the beginning of your activation, All right. uh, you get a minus however many where you have. Jeez. Which means that it, if I was like, you know, we have that top number of six on this card, mm -hmm. which is our current speed, I would have to take three away from that, which means I'd only get three movements. So I'm driving a honker. Down, All right, clunker will, down there. I'll pit number nine then, because he took that body damage. And, and Nick is so quick. And I will also pit number 17 to get rid of all their uh, damage. Um, and I'm going to probably say that is the only... 88, actually. May took some damage. He had two tokens. I'm just going to get rid of them. You know what? Since we're doing a big restart anyways, uh, number one... Is gonna pit. Yep. Um, I, I, it, would, it would be a little early to do that otherwise, but since we're in this big yellow flag restart, I'm taking what if advantage I wanna, of What if I want to pit 12 too? Um, so there is a thing. Uh, if two cars from the same sector choose to pit, place the outside car on top and the inside car underneath it in the same space on the apron. All right. You know, um, now's the smart time to do it because 12's got two temp on them too, so I'm just gonna. Go ahead and do that because later I'm gonna have to take the uh, the the backup damage. Okay. Yeah, 18 is going to pit because everyone else I have uh, and 22 is going to pit. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm also gonna get rid of 19 and 70. 70 is gonna go in the pit with you, right okay. there. Um, so um, I'll take care of that. You go on top. Get rid of this because they already have permanent damage, and I take another token. I don't want to lose speed. I am not losing speed, and I'm also going to get 19 out of here. I'm going to set it next to number 17. On top of. Yeah, and then on top of, and then get rid of that. So now I don't have any cars with speed penalties, which would be pretty bad at this point because we're on the last lap of the race. There's only two laps in this racetrack, there's one with four. Which sounds ridiculous, but the track is just a NASCAR circle, so you... And it's very short. Like, the spaces are much bigger yeah. than what are on here. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, move all cars that stayed on the track up to fill holes in the on the grid left by pitting cars. So basically, you're going to move here. Mm -hmm. You're going to move here. You're going to move here. Uh, you're going to move here. You're going to move here. Um, next, the cars that pitted step four exit the pits and are placed back in the restart lanes. Uh, use their position on the apron to determine order on the track, but all pitted cars are placed behind the cars that stay out. Oh. If two cars are in the same apron space, car and bottom is considered to have come out first because yeah, that was their inside lead. So that's going to go on top of... Yes. Okay. 
Um, so you go there. We got a lot of cars in the pit. We, we just... You go there. We took a lot of damage that race. Well, it wasn't really that much considering. Draw five cards. Um, two, But three, it was one of those, four, like, we're all five. bunched up together anyways. Like, so there wasn't the penalty of, hey, normally when we pit, because we haven't really had any mm -hmm. pit buddy pit normally yet, usually what happens is, um, I'll use number seven here, you go to the pit lane and then back one, two, three, four, five spaces. So you, and then exiting the pit is kind of slow compared to the normal race pace anyways. So you're kind of taking a big penalty doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you're going to be all bunched up together anyways, I mean, why not knock it out? Yeah, knock it um, out at the end of this turn. Yeah, like, so really this pileup did give us a chance to really give us another fresh shot, shot at this next lap. Okay, I am going to, <clears throat> because I didn't get made turn leader because of the pitting, mm -hmm. this is a thing. Okay. Um, I do get a turn lead on number three. So, Nick, taking the team turn lead away... Wait, do I get... You already got one for... Okay. It was number nine. Um, do you get the turn lead now? They're all... Yes. It's how it works. Okay. All I right. don't understand yeah. why, right. okay. but that's how it's it works. It's magic. I trust you. Somebody, somebody thought this was... Um, yes. But I also then take first player. Okay. Um... Oh, and we also have to decide if you're discarding anything, which I am, because since everybody pitted, I no longer want that card. Um, so I need six. And that card was called Top Gear. And actually, I am going to discard one and take this one before the next turn. Okay. You might have seen me discard my card and draw six cards before anything was said. <laughs> Probably. I mean, if you're watching it. Or Mike added it I mean, so that I did it just now i'm not i'm only cutting out the, the <laughs> parts where it's like we're just like yeah. reading the rules or getting drinks or mm -hmm. something because i don't want to like just leave dead no, air on there be, but yeah, i'm weird. not cutting that stuff out if you're watching this it's yeah it's i put conscious. minimal editing into this because i work on other stuff this yeah. is just a this is like a stream that's being recorded, mm -hmm. kind of, but there's no one watching except... So I'm assuming somebody out there is watching. What you should do is you should let us know when this airs so that we can chat with people while it's happening. You don't want me to tell you? Yeah, tell yeah. both of us and we'll both get yeah. on. And we should be, be subscribed like... to the channel, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Tell me what ha Oh, yeah, the notification system on YouTube does suck, to be fair. So I will um, I will say that. Okay, everybody has their cards. Yes, I, I all have right. all my cards. All right, so we are lap two, restarted with a yellow flag, and we got our team starting up, and it looks like Pockets Racing is going to make its first move in this race uh, for lap two, I should say. Okay, first up we have a fast pace pursuit movement. So he's just going to do a fast pace pursuit movement. It's a simple move where he moves forward. Nobody behind him gets anything. Uh, and that is with car number one. Oh, so he's actually going to be putting Two, three, a lot of cars up forward. Four, five, six, seven. So he's moving his cars up. And we're already coming around the bend. This is the last lap. Points will be awarded. Not to me, because I have not earned anything. Nope. <laughs> have I earned anything? No, I have not earned anything. Do I? How do you earn points? Where do I get those? So you earn points by leading a turn, which mm. you have not. I've never done that. And as cars either cross the finish line or are eliminated, you take either the first available po position or the last available position. Okay. Of which we have neither. Okay. <laughs> so... They come to the home team just to rub our faces into the mud, but it is Columbus, Ohio, home of Ohio State, with the only winning team in the entire state of Ohio for any sports. I know the, in the Indians exist, but nobody cares. Okay, baseball's dead. J Japan wins, okay? They get the, they get the baseball team. It's, it's no longer the American pastime. It's the Japanese pastime. Football's our thing now, and basketball, apparently. I never hear anybody talk about baseball. I feel a little sad, you know? Because like growing up, that was like a big that deal. people are in it are into it. Oops, my cards. Yeah. Um, my anarchy symbol. Um, 
two, three, four, five. Where'd that last one go? Six it's over here. It's my turn. So yes. So <laughs> what the hell? Quaker am I Stubbs do? Motorsports. Quaker Stubbs Motorsports. I think that's supposed to be like Quaker State. Yeah. Is it's a, let's just say it's or unless you like Stubbs because that does Stubbs sound, is yeah it sounds like stu Stubbs because steak I mean that makes that sounds that's yeah, steak Quaker steak and lube but Stubbs like that's yeah that honestly it sounds uh, we were Stubbs talking about Cool barbecue. Borders the snowboarding game on the PlayStation <laughs> Two Cool Borders I think it was on PlayStation One were you thinking like um, two I think. Well, there's what what was snowboarding kids that was my as well my first Nintendo sixty four never games. played it. It's a fun, it's cool, it's cute. Um, okay, okay. Let's see here. Now, I could, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could do that, but that would be, would be okay. I could understeer. How do I want to play this? You know, okay. We are going to... Uh, we're going to... We're going to fast pace it. Oh, what, what is that? So fast pace. That's We're a gonna zoom in on that. What is fast movement. pace? A Jimmy Biggs. Jimmy okay, so Biggs. it's just so it's just seven points of movement and a pursuit movement, and a tire damage. So, Jim Biggs, he sees his chance. All right, car number twelve. One, two, three. That twenty four, twelve. Five. That, mm, twelve. No. No. Pursuit. Pursuit movement. Push. Pursuit movement. Mm -hmm. Oh, I push. Oh, you're right. I do push. Okay. Um, Forward, yes. Behind in that case, you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. We can read. Yeah, Why, okay. So, so you can just move the cars in front I of you if you so desire. All right, never mind. Not Jim Bigum. That's going to be um, Johnny Zones. Johnny Zones does the pushing around here. Okay. And he's going to push one, two, three. Uh, we'll go inside. Four, five, six, seven. Look, guys, I'm playing the long game, okay? You think that I'm losing because all of my cars are in the rear? Yeah, think again, okay? Don't even think that I'm not going to catch up to you because I will. I've got the power to There's do so. There's all kinds of things that can happen. There is. Okay. So. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. I just really... Oh, well. All right. <laughs> That goes on number 17. Oh, not one doesn't come along. And you know what? I get, I'm getting really sick and tired of sitting by the, by the waistline. So now I think the producers are just going to cut us a slack, cut me some slack here in a second as Mike takes his damage. And now it is my turn as I activate my slingshot, my slingshot card. I'm going to send you all to the Shadow Realm as I activate my... Everyone behind me, these mm -hmm. three here in particular, are going to follow me as I go, See you later, diagonal movements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And all of these guys... But, but only yeah. once per turn. That's fine. So you have to go, you're here, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, It's six. a diagonal movement. But you, you only, only get one diagonal, one diagonal movement per turn. Boo! Okay. So yeah, you just be... You just push this guy up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So... No, because I can't move diagonally. So well, no, you can You can move... You, you could choose to move diagonally there, or you could choose to move laterally. Okay, so that's what I'll point. do then. Yeah. So... so I move Nick's car back. That's where he was. And then diagonal movement. Yes. Perfect. Thank you for helping me out because I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> seven, there you go. Okay. Like Excellent. And I take a tire damage on car number 66. Uh, where is the tire? Our tires. Thank our you. Pile, tire pile. My tire, yeah, our pile of tires that are currently on fire. The uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus staple. Anyway. <laughs> Back to Nick, who is now trying to make his decision. As May is currently still sitting back here. <laughs> his car is not starting. And my car is not starting. Yes. This is fantastic. Yeah, he just gets... Yeah, he'd get out and fix it. <laughs> he'd get out and fix it. He, he just knows how to There's do it. There's a stig somewhere around here. Yeah. Driving an American... Exactly. <laughs> All right, Nick, pick your pick your poison. What okay, are you going to do? Here? I am going to again work the pack. Oh, 
And I'm going to work the pack with card number 18. Card number 18. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Okay, okay. An interesting choice. No damage taken on that one. Michael, it's back onto you. All right. This Quaker um, Stubbs Smooter Sports has everything riding on this race. I think um, we're going to have... We're going to have Preston. Preston is going to... You know what? Preston's just going to chase the race. So. What is chase the race? So the active card may make no lateral movement, and it means that anyone in front and behind follows him. So he's five points of movement and a blue damage token, which is temporary, I believe. Yep. Transmission damage. Uh, suspension, I suspension. think. Suspension? Okay. And so he just moves up people five. Excellent. Well, let's do... Uh, You know what? Let's uh, let's let's uh, let's give let's give. Uh, let's see, yeah. You know what? Let's give uh, let's give him a little bit of a chance here, to um, to push forward because he doesn't have a whole lot going on here. We're gonna go ahead. Let's see. What, what card number? That's eighty-eight. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and activate my solo movement. Dirty air. I take some fuel damage to the car, but. I do go one, two, three, four, five, and six. I am now behind, and I'm now linked up to these three cards, and thank you for activating that. All right, back to my, uh, Nick, who is, we only got uh, three more rounds. Not turns, rounds, because we're around the table. I can think about these things, I'm a smart person. It's not actually the worst turn of phrase for this, because yeah. the game calls like one, like, complete activation of cars a turn which yeah. i found slightly annoying but mm. yeah now it's a round okay um, 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 three rounds left who do i want to activate before we activate an event the final event most likely <laughs> i mean in all pos possibility all depending on how it goes yeah it's like no it's like sniper on the track or something <laughs> what kind of horrible 40, 47 is... Did you ever see Death Race? Yeah, it's a classic This is a pretty, pretty yeah. good... Well, I, not the... I watched the, the remake. I don't... Oh, I the remake. The, I watched the original. I watched the remake. The remake was... I liked it when I saw it because I was an edgy teenager and thought it was super cool. Um, but... Uh... <laughs> All right. We are going to watch the gauge, your standard draft movement with uh, one point of... Gasoline use on car number seven. So he's going to take six points of movement. And so far two, we've three, we've avoided four, taking five, any damage six, penalties. Hmm? Well, that that yellow flag got us um, got us a good well adjusted. Yeah. Bit. So we're having we're having a, this actually means we're having a pretty decent race. Hmm. Okay, back okay. to you, Michael. It's on me. Quaker right. Stubbs Motorsports. You know. Um, Okay, all right, all right. I got the idea here. Um, Jimmy Bigham. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, he is going to... Is that who he is? What car is that? It would be number 12. But you know what? Mm, I don't know if I want to do that. Under steer time. I got all my guys back here. And you already did this, Nick? Uh, yes. All right. So... Yes, yeah, so we can get cards out of the raceway. Yeah, we have discard pile over here. I think. I wonder if I can get some people up there. Um, I'm in an interesting. I push. I push people. You know what? Number nine. Um, John Luke. Uh, every car is completed. It's move, must move one lane towards the outside wall. The lane is not vacant or lower. No moving lateral. Okay, so John Luke Smart is going to understeer and so he is just going it's to a push. pursuit movement which means that he anyone in front of him does get pushed it does not count even if it's occupied Three, so it's a good choice that four, is my car five yes oh you're pushing me up okay it's pushing all of you up. i didn't see that because your hand all right cool yep. oh let me pull this back so everyone else can see it so yeah he just pushed everyone up there at the top 
And now we've got three cars here in the back that definitely need to catch up with the rest of the race that comes up to me. So, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and activate Watch the Gauge on, who can I do that on? 70. 70 or 19. 70. 70. 70 is going to do Watch the Gauge, which is and give me one fuel damage, but that means it gets to move six spaces up and I want the first one to be lateral movement so I can be behind you guys if that's possible. Like that? Yeah. You're not going to drag this car at that point, you know. Oh, never mind. Then yeah, just move it six spaces forward. Okay. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. There we go. Right. I feel a little bit better now that they're not trapped back there. <laughs> we are still, we're still deep into this race. That goes right back to Michael. Or Nick. or Nick, excuse me, and uh, over at Pockets Racing. So uh, it looks like it, it looks like the darker cars are the ones that we haven't activated yet, correct? So with that said, you have number seven and no, number eighteen. We're, on we're going from light. Yeah. Oh, from white. That, that that's you why activate, this first place. Act, or then oh you oh okay. so I activated you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then that means you have where? Well, yeah, you got current leader no yeah. I, i've got my number three in current lead or number 22 mm -hmm. and i realize that my original plan for this isn't going to work so we're going to do this in reverse order um all right so i am going to say follow the leader Oh, what does that one do? You get eight movement points and a permanent damage. That's a that at the top is actually a permanent damage yes, to your permanent en engine damage. But we've got that event card out of the way, so hopefully I don't get bit by this. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, um, I so figured you know number three, uh, David Lance. Uh, after that scare earlier, uh, he actually hasn't had any wear markers at all on the car. Um, so I figured with the length of the race that we have left to go that, you know, a permanent damage I, would I, be okay. I just want to point out that on, on my team, we have quite a bit of damage on multiple cars. And I'm always teetering on the edge of somebody exploding. As you can see, I have... Oh, no, you're not even close to exploding. I'm, you have to get six to explode. I'm going to just go with my version of it. Of that. Because if I get three points, I might as well just go off the track at this point. Um, I might as well just start shooting the other racers because I'm not going to get my one, first place. Two, it's like that movie uh, one, Boy five, Scout. Six, you can see the, uh, the Boy Scout that was Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. Yes. With the football players, and the the first opening scene is like a football player shooting people to the touchdown. Oh, it's it's because it was like, like he's um, on drugs or something bizarre. Oh, I no, it w wasn't he like a dictator or something? And so it was, or, or I'm thinking of the it's movie The Dictator. You're thinking of the movie The Dictator. Oh, because it's like he's like ready, go, and it's like he starts, and then there's everybody behind him, and they even though runners are beating him, he's shooting them with the starting gun. No, he just pulls All a gun right. out. Yeah, you probably yeah, haven't seen it. Yeah, something else. Yeah, it's a movie called The Boy Scouts. All it's right. it's a bizarre movie. On I watched it, and All right. Bruce Willis is a weird. He plays himself essentially. All right. I just imagine that's what he's like in real life. Jimmy Bigum. Uh huh. Um, let's see if Jimmy Bigum can't. How many? Right, I got. One, two, yeah. Six, seven. Jimmy Bigum. You know, I don't think it's gonna work out quite like I wanted to. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just going... Nobody else has been activated except for me on that one, right? No, there's still you. So we got a bunch of cars right, on this yeah. end, and we have some here in the lead. I'm just going to ride the drift. Or ride, riding the draft. Riding the draft. Number the active 15. car can make no lateral movement. It's AFR. No damage. Nice. AFR is just going to keep moving up. But what she's going to do is she's going to... One, two, three, four. She's going to break up the line a little bit. Okay. Bringing it up closer. All right, with that done, it's now my turn. So with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and keep this party going. Now, I, when you turn over to dark, that means I can, uh, that's activated, correct, yes. for this turn? Okay, yes. keep moving that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna yeah. do. The clue is to, I don't know if the camera can really see it, but there's a first player marker, mm -hmm. and it has a light side, 
and a dark side. And the goal is to, at the beginning of a turn, you yeah. have it match the color of all the cars, and then as you go on, if it matches that color, well, then you know that you can still activate it, and it still needs activated. Well, uh, I am going to go ahead and get number 19 out of the way with a slingshot maneuver, which means that I can move one diagonally at any time during my movement. Um, but I'm not going to allow you to have that um, a chance to follow me. So mm, I don't think no, you that's, can. No, can I not move this way? You could move that way, but I don't think you have a choice. Um, I do believe that lead movement linked okay. up is determined. At yeah, yeah. The it, it, actually, you know what it is. So behind is linked. Okay. All right. Anytime I am allowed to do lateral movements, but yes. we'll, we'll just go ahead and do uh, one. I like that matters actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I just wanted the moves, and then that would be. You guys all behind me, bringing the race up over here, activating that card, because light side, dark side, like the uh, like duct tape, <laughs> has a light side, dark side, and binds the universe together. All right. And I take tiger damage for that. And that was on uh, car number 19. All right. Moving back over to Nick. What's your choice here? And I get two cards, okay. two cards left to play. Before the next event, we are happens. going to go with charge. So it's a solo movement, and you're going to activate which car? Uh, well, the only one I can, number 22. So 22 gets activated. So 22 goes one, two, three. Wait. Oh, I miscounted. Oh, well. Four, five. Bumps back. Wow. Pushing all three of his team in front of everyone else with. No care in the world for anyone. Although I do have to point out, this could be Michael's race because all of his cars are currently in this inside track. While two of ours, two of yours are back there, three of mine are, oops, three of mine are back here, and I only have one, and this guy over here. So I only have one move left, and it is this guy right all here. All right. So I know what I'm doing now. <clears throat> it's time for Top Gear. Ooh, so he activated Top Gear as a solo movement, and he takes permanent damage to his transmission. Eight moves, though. That's excellent. Transmission. Is it? It's, they can flip it's, him over. The purple. Right, purple. Okay. So Jimmy Bigum, he sees his moment. Oh, flip. And he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, pushed everyone out of the way. Rude. Very much so. Rude, I say. <laughs> Tear you. Jimmy Bigham really wants that win at the expense of his team, unfortunately. And Pockets Pockets knows how to group race. Okay, well, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and activate Chasing the Race on number 17. 71. 71. Thank you. I could It's upside <laughs> down. Anyway. 71, so that would be five movements forward for this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And then everyone else, including number 17 behind me, follows suit. Moving everybody up. Only because I don't really have a whole lot of options. I mean, you don't. So. Yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm only able to do so much. Okay, now we have reached the point where we are now at an event. Doom, doom, doom. Ooh, a green flag. Get engine out. damage. Give the car with the most engine tokens an additional engine token. If multiple cars can be affected, use the team bar. If no cars have engine tokens, no car receives the token. But so I notice. I have one. I have one. You have one. I have none. You have none. So, team bar it is. And the damage. And the loser is. Me, uh, you. I take the one. So if you guys don't know, on the bottom here is the bar, and these are our team tokens. So we don't have uh, this purple. So I'm the next one in line. The black card. I take the damage. Uh, and it was just an additional orange, I believe. Oh really? Um. Well, I mean, orange is permanent, but. Yeah, we're at the end of the race, so I don't really mind. Uh, because. Yeah, red light. But it's green, which means that we can do. 
So at this point, oops, that's going to go there. You're going to go there. So at this point, uh, we have done our event. Uh, next up is determined leader. Um, unfortunately, some jerk. Twelve, twelve. <laughs> took a team lead. Um, or are you keeping lead. track of who's had more turns than anyone else? That's what these are for. Oh, okay. Thank so, you. So yes, we are. Excellent. Um, okay, so that happened. Um, drawn. Oh, that should have happened first. So okay, mm -hmm. we did. Engine damage happened. Um, at this point, we can pit if we so wish. Um, remember, pitting under a green flag is you move to the apron and then back five spaces, just to double check. Um, yes, moves backward five spaces. I Does anybody really, wish to pit? I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Pitting now, even though my car is damaged, would mean pretty much that we'd have to watch this car not basically be lapped. So there's no point well, in Well, no, there. because everybody's past the... There's no lapping at this point. When yeah. you finish, you finish. So, yeah, it... Yeah. But you're also so far behind, like, I think there'd probably be, honestly, more benefit to just keeping them all together. I'm than... just going to keep it all together. There's no point in me trying to do anything extra. So I guess at this point, we just draw our cards. Uh, discard if you want, but then, yes, draw... Full hand. Five, one. All right, so I pulled five, so we got cards that I can use. Could I please have five, Nick? Yes, you may in one moment. One, two, three, four, five. All right, thank you. Ooh, got some good ones. Okay. So, flip your thing over to darkness. Yep. Except that yeah. Michael gets it. Yeah, right. so Mike's still in the lead. Most lead means he's got the most points currently, I think. So, let me see. But we'll here. tally that up at the end. Yeah. It's going to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might be able to do that. Draft movement. This active card may only move towards the outside wall or straight ahead. And, Let's Nick, when does the game actually end? So, when what's going to happen is very shortly, um, our first car should cross the finish line. I would be shocked if it does not happen this turn. Yeah. At which point we play out the rest of the turn. Um, as cars cross the finish line, they are removed. They get the, you know, first, second, or whatever is the next yeah, place. Yeah. Um, at the end of the turn, oh, um, okay. like, the game basically ends. Um, any cars that have not crossed the finish line at that point um, basically get places based on where they are on the track. Um, mm. So closest, you know, the next, etc. working backwards. I see, I see. Um, so um, Michael's trying to make a good decision here because he's currently in the lead. Nick has three cars behind him, meaning his team is most likely going to have second and third place, assuming he doesn't take it from Mike. If he takes all three uh, places, uh, I would assume at that point we have failed and uh, Tampa, Florida has beaten Columbus, which, let's be fair, Tampa, Florida probably could. It's Tampa. I mean, I don't know if you've been to Tampa. It's... It exists. It's a city. It's a city in Florida that people go to when they want to retire forever. That is the name. That's the name of the game of Florida: Fort Lauder Lauderdale, Tampa, and uh, there's I think Lakeland, a couple of other. Yeah, you go down there. That's where you find the retirement communities. Okay, I think. Um, At least as far as I know. We're gonna have staying with the pack. Okay. Staying with the pack, which means. Any car in front of him uh, gets pushed, but he is going to be using which car? Number 17. Number 17 gets a move forward. 17 takes some gas, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. He's moving in all, all of our cars, including these ones, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So he took some damage, did 6 movement. Now it's down to me. I am tired of being a, in this place, but 
there really isn't much of a choice. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no, there's no quick movement for me that I'm going to be able to do. So what I'm going to do to try to bring up the rear a little bit, um, let's do. Do I have a thing for that? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's move these guys up. Let's move this team up. So I'm going to activate. Uh, let's do. Making a move on number 70. So it's just a lead movement. He does take some gas damage on that, which means actually he doesn't even get the full movement because he already has three tokens. Oh. So he only moves three spaces, but it is a lead movement. So I can just do one, two, and three, and this guy follows. Slow, but steady, wins the race. That would be amazing if they made it, but we both know. How are they falling over? Oh, they're just loosely on there. And then oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, this sheet music keeps falling on the ground. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Anyway. All right. Back to Nick. He has... Michael, I'm afraid. But you I may have it, to crush you your dreams here. Bigham? You take yep. it from Bigham? Yep. I have follow the leader. Oh. Now I'm going to take a permanent am engine damage, but for number three, it doesn't matter. Uh, he already has one, but he's about to win because he can just go one, exit alongside because I have the choice of lane, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that means he has first oh. and second place. So that means first place goes to, what's 46 on that for us? Because that's how many points you get for that. Okay, so first place for you, second Goes place to, to number me. three, and second place and he gets an additional turn leader and for crossing the finish line. Second first. place is to number seven. So Nick is already blown us away with his prowess, and now the the point values drop, but not significantly less. Like there's still quite a bit of points to be made here because this is. 46 is a lot, but then you get 42, 41. So obviously they give you more points for being the you, winner. You get four bonus points for being first, and then thereafter it drops by one point per place generally. All right, in that case, um, we're going to charge. Ooh, it's a solo movement. We're going to put that on Jimmy. I'm assuming that puts you across the finish line, one, correct? Two, three, four, five. Yes, it does. All right, congratulations on third place. Well done on that. Okay. So. Yeah, we can remove the current leader. I think it is right. redundant at this point. <clears throat> okay. Um, with that, uh, let's do... Just so I can I can say I've done something here. Oh wait, no, hold on a minute. Let's do this one instead. Dirty air. We'll actually put these in the discard pile. It's another solo movement. I take gas damage, but it doesn't matter at this point for 71. Uh, because I crossed the finish line because that's way more than enough points to do so. It's a solo movement. None of you follow me. I get fourth place. Eat my dust, losers. <laughs> Um, in my fourth place, I win. Next. Okay. Going up to Nick over at Pockets Racing, a failing so motorsport. So we're going... They're going to stay for the moment. Um, we're not salty here in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> um, we're at, we're, yeah. Just to, you know, do something a little different, I'm going to play riding, riding the Draft. One, two, three, bump, four. All right. And because it was draft movement, that just got linked up there. Onward. Onward to Mike. Okay. Um, we will do... I'm going to do teamwork to make the dream work. Um, and... So I get to move somebody uh, four. So we're going to go with number nine. 
Oh, Mike is moving number nine. So that's going to take us uh, one, two, three, four. Well done. Around there. But then I can move another teammate three. Uh huh. And after moving the activated car, move a second car of yours three MP. It gets an entire three regardless of condition. Both cars use draft movement. The second car can be one that already moved, but cannot be used to take a car out of the pits. And so... Oh, no. Um, it's going to have to... Damn it, do I have to push you across? Yeah, but he, it's only no. one point. Yeah. It's only one point. Yeah. Like. One, two, three. It's what I would get anyway. I think um, I'm going to hold off on that because I'll make you move. use your cards on it. Um... <laughs> Smart. So I'm going to move this one three, so that pushes us along one, two, three as well. But that one isn't activated. Oh, it isn't? It is not. All right. Well done. Okay. Back to me in my winning position here. You guys just haven't seen it yet. That's a problem. So uh, let's do... Let's get... Uh, who is, uh, is that 66? What are you doing, 66? Who are you? Uh, let's... I have just the worst cards. Um, I just have the worst strategy because I, do, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's go ahead and do... Nine, ten, is... Because all my cards are just fucking trash. Uh, pretty much. I've been, like, I've this been getting... Story, this is a story every time there are cards in a game, Mike. <laughs> I don't play these games very well. I'm terrible at deck building games. Actually, no, I beat you at Netrunner by just basically bluffing the yeah, whole time. Yeah, that's what the, yeah. It's I, bl I bluffed him, and he's really good at Netrunner. I, I'm not very, well, I Yes, like you it. are. You're good at deck building. He's really good at Hearthstone and all this other stuff. I literally just... Had to bluff to win. That's the only way I won by just being the guy who's. Like, I have no idea what's going on except for <laughs> just throwing down. I did the pull technique. You kept putting like your uh, your to I, to win. All I had yeah. to do was run his archives, which was unprotected, <laughs> and there are a bunch of points in there. But he just perfectly made me think. Oh no, there's nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't. So mind your business. Um, let's do, you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, do oversteer. So, starting with this guy, oversteer, that card right there, which is basically a pursuit movement. It pushes the car in front of me five spaces, so one, two, three four, and five, and that would be activated. So that means, essentially, uh, that uh, if the lane is, uh, it must move one lane towards the apron. If that lane is not vacant or is the apron, ignore this movement. So you get to ignore it because yes. there's a car there. Yep. Fine. That's perfectly fine with me. I didn't want to be linked up with you anyway. All right, back to Nick. Okay. Um, you know what? Wait, how do you have more cards than me? Did I not pick up enough cards? No, it's... That's... Yeah, cause I because I have two. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I see. I see. You're, you have three, right? I have two. You have two? I must have not have picked enough cards. That's okay. okay. Easy fix. Anyway. Um, Unless I did something stupid and... Lost it. I have no idea. Anyway, let's continue. Activated two. One, two. So, no, I have the correct number of cards. I don't know. Oh, you know Regardless. what? It, it, it might have been... Did you take some cards? How many cards does he have on the field? One, two, three, four. No, I... And one was brought across? So I have three on the field. Mm -hmm. One was manually pushed across. Yeah. So I've activated oh, two. Oh, so I didn't but, need to grab anything. No, I think, I don't know. Yeah, it it's doesn't weird matter. at this point. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to keep that. I'm right. going to put that back just to honor system. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. Um, I'm just, you know what, for the sake of argument, 
Um, I've been. I'm going to. I've been avoiding that because I have no cards that can survive that. <laughs> Floor it. Um, for number twenty-two, uh, is it unnecessary for just you know moving one space across the finish line? Yes, yes, it is. Um, does it matter? No, no, it but does you, not. But you, but you get some, you get some trophies. Okay. All right, back to Michael. All right. Um, so how's Quaker Stubbs going to win this one? Let's see here. We've got, let's see, we got 15, and we've got four, 15 and four. All right. So we're going to have, we have number 15 do the outside line. Um, and we're going to have, 15 is going to take some tire damage. That is... A of Farley, A of Farley, she's just going to push us up seven. One, All right. two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven. Nice. As a draft movement, and everybody gets a play. Um, did you activate that one? That was 15? 15, yes. Yep. Okay. Making sure we activate, because we're getting to that point now where we're excited that we're reaching the end. Okay. Uh, that would be uh, Michael's turn or mine? It's your turn. Now. Okay. No. Okay, so uh, I have not activated car number 19 yet, but I'm going to because it's time to die. As I floor it, a solo movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, bringing me right next to Nick, and I take eight no, more. No, that's not me, that's, that's me. That's, yeah, okay. Taking a permanent damage to number 19's thing, which at this point near the finish line, I don't think that really is going to matter. So if I play next round, assuming it doesn't explode. No, it, we're going to, it's going to end as soon as we're done anyways, so. Okay. Um, okay. So it's to Nick. You got number 18. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, well, technically I have a pass as well. Oh, you could pass. Like, I could pass with number seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to, okay. but I could. Mm -hmm. right. um, I'm going to play out in front. Um, oh. Technically, number 18 takes a tire damage, um, but it's going to lead movement and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which brings your cars all the way out, putting mine all in last place. Well, no, depending, you could sh take 66 yet and shove me ahead one space and get in between, uh, but... M maybe. I don't exactly... Um, let's see here. I will... Oh, I have number four. Number four is going to... Number four could take... He could take some damage on his transmission, but then he'd be at a minus. But I could probably... Well, but it doesn't count through. until... Yeah. Um, the next activation, which there won't be. I'll probably push him through. So... Chasing the race. Bringing one, his cars two, up. Three, four, five. Not like it's going to change anything, because at this point, even if I play my next card, which is... Rub, rubbing, uh, rubbing is racing. I can just push my own car, push these guys back, and bring them up four spaces. So one, two, three, four, bringing me close enough to make me feel better that I at least got close because that's all I have left. Okay. And that's the end of the game. So well, Nick, is so, it the end of the game? Yes. Okay. Um, so we have some, you know, the last minute getting everybody off the board. All right. Um, and just, just double um, checking. Yeah, double checking. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm running order. Um, yep. Okay, so uh, car number seventeen going from inside leads. Right. Uh, you get six. Okay. Nineteen. Is it's, that why you move your cars inside, because you knew the race was going to end? Well, I knew it was going to end regardless, but I couldn't... Like, m for me to go outside, I'd have to push your cars out of the way, oh, which see. costs more movement. Ah, okay. So it was just trying me trying to get as far as... I'm just trying to see how the strategy ahead. works. Okay. Um, although it's a nice side benefit. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, eight goes to number four. Nine go ninth goes to fifteen. Tenth goes to nine. Um, what is that? Eleventh goes to number eighteen. 
Uh, 12 goes to number one. And then the rest go to me, because I don't get anything. 13. That's right. I made it 13th place. Hey, Mythos Racing's classic trophy. 13th place. Okay. Um, And then, yeah, I'm going to bring... So, uh, most laps led uh, to the one car with the most turn leader markers in its holding box. Um, which I'm pretty sure you it's have It's me, Michael. Two. I have two. You have two. I have two. Um, Ooh, I do not. What happens? Um, if multiple cars have the same number of turn leader, award the marker to the car among those who tied who fin- had the benefit of finish. Well, he finished in first, so oh. it is mine. There you go. Um, so now we all have to add up our points. Um, you basically Don't bother you know, with me. <laughs> I didn't make enough to beat you guys, so it'll be between you two. Um, because so I, I did it'll not... be um, your places, obviously. Okay. Places. Uh, and you get one bonus point per turn lead marker. Turn lead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I only I fin- like I don't have enough points to ever reach because my, all of my cars were always way behind and broken. I mean, look at my my sheet. How many damage tokens do I have? I just basically got the most broke ass this is real this is how columbus this is an ohio car right here we had so much rust out here you know you're the home team you should know the line to avoid the potholes no we're playing the long game you don't understand you think hockey is bad you all have to leave the city you beat our team we don't like that very much so if we eliminate you from racing, period, <laughs> those trophies will still end up, in my case, by default. Along with those uh, weird bones and skulls. The weird bones and stuff. Are you uh, counting stuff? Today? Yeah, I, I have ta- toil- t- tallied, there's the word, All right. of mm-hmm. my final score. What'd you get? 187. 195. Uh, Beat you because he just happened to have more cars, I think, in the... I think it was just because he had first, second, fifth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that would do it. He probably... Yeah, just by... Because you... Pure force. First, second, fifth. So, okay, you only had the one at third, and yep. then you had six, which wouldn't have been that far behind, but you, like, I've gotten two high scores compared to yeah. your one. So, the winner of today's race here at Virgins Grove, Columbus, Ohio, for the Thunder Alley, one first and only ever race, <laughs> because we're going to burn this track down to <laughs> bullshit, is Nick. Congratulations on winning. Thank you. A game that you Thank own. You. It already played for for us. It's already burned down once. We build it back yeah, up. We, it's where the children died. We, it was hard. We will blame it on the cars, the insurance. We'll pay for it all. It'll be okay. So with that said, that was a lot of fun. Thanks oh, a lot for hanging out. Shoot, Nick. It was, it was really nice to finally have another courtesy flush on the couch and just hanging out. And this is just like a weird mobile setup. Um, I'm in Cleveland right now, so... It's not even that. You got the mobile workstation. I do. That is powerful than, I think, every other device in this house. It's got so many... I I mean, it's got so many things coming out of it. It's a workstation I bought for editing um, when I was uh, working at my other job. We had to turn the heat off because... It's just, it's just oh, come, so oh, much come on. It's just... Yeah, it's obviously this $28 ring light that I bought on Amazon that's clearly causing all the heat in this room. Anyway, um, that was it. That's the end of the stream. Uh, thanks a lot for hanging out. We'll try to get more games going in the future. But for now, we're going to go back to the online format. So until then, I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for hanging out. And... Uh, I'll put the saxophone music right here. Have a good night, everybody. (laughs) 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 (